Hey guys, welcome to another video in my TiVo Tarantula 3D printer series. In this video I would like to show you how you can flash a current version of the Marlin firmware on your TiVo Tarantula. There are a couple of reasons you want to do this. First of all, you will have a newer version than the one already flashed, meaning improvements and more options. Secondly, you can enable some features that are not enabled in the default firmware, for example saving to EEPROM. This is especially useful if you actually want to save the changes you make on the LCD module, like step settings, preheat adjustment and such between power cycles. I assume you have the Arduino IDE installed, if not, follow the links in the description to do so. Next get the Marlin source code. Luckily for us user Jim Brown on GitHub forked the Marlin repo and added a customized configuration for the TiVo Tarantula. This configuration allows us to easily enable features for different versions of the Tarantula, like bigger bed or Z probes, and also comes with EEPROM enabled. Go to the Marlin Tarantula GitHub repo and select Easy Config from the branch dropdown. On the right, click on Clone or Download, and finally on Download Zip. Wait for it to download, extract it, and go to the Marlin directory inside the root directory you just extracted. Navigate to the example configurations directory and copy the contents of the TiVo Tarantula folder. Go back to the Marlin root directory and paste the config files, overwriting the ones already there. Open marlin.ino with the Arduino IDE. In Tools menu under board make sure you have Arduino, Genuino, Mega or Mega2560 selected. Check the processor is set to ATmega2560. Do not forget to verify the port you are using. Switch to the tab with the configuration.h file. This is where all the magic happens, where you can set the position of the end switches, invert motors and set the PIDs for hot end and heat bed. Let's take a look at the easy config part of the configuration. In equipment options SD support is defined. Also, Y motor on right is defined. Since mine is on the left, I will comment that out. If you have a tarantula with large print bed, you would enable that here. I do not need offsets. I also leave the step settings for now, since I can tune them via LCD module later. If you have a set probe, you would comment that in here and also adjust the sensor offsets properly. Bed level mode is set to manual. If you have a set probe, again, you would adjust that accordingly. Grid points is set to 3, which will measure at 9 different points when you start the bed level mode from the LCD module. I do not have a second extruder, so I leave those settings alone. I also leave the PIDs as they are, same with the extra bed front and back settings, since they are not needed on my 200 by 200 mm print bed. Ok, that is it, hit the upload button and once the firmware is flashed, the board will reboot and you are good to go. Let's check out some of the new features. Depending on the firmware you have flashed before, the changes you will notice might vary. On the bottom you now have an About Printer menu, which will display various information about the printer, like build, board make, information about the thermistors, and some stats regarding printing time and completed jobs. In the control menu you can find the, in my opinion, most important new entry, the store settings entry, which will write the current settings to the EEPROM and load them every time the board starts up. Load settings will restore the last settings you saved. This might be useful if you're not happy with your current changes and want to revert to your last working state. Under control, motions, steps per millimeter, you can adjust steps per millimeter for all the axes. You want to do this in case your prints are size-wise off from what you would expect, but that is a topic for another video. The first thing you should always do after flashing a new firmware version is to restore factory settings and save them. You do not know if the EEPROM layout changed in between versions, so better safe than sorry. Go to control, scroll down to restore failsafe, press the button. Scroll up to store settings and press the button again. Now make sure that all the motor directions are indeed properly set up. Therefore each axis is homed one by one from the prepare menu, always having one finger on the stop button, in case something starts moving in a wrong direction. Let's home the Y axis first. Looking good, now X. 
also good. And last but not least, Z. Great. And that is basically it. You are now ready to level your bed, print, tune and most importantly save your improvements between power cycles. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Also like and subscribe, I would really appreciate it.